Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I would start the year off right and do a tutorial for you guys. So happy new year and we're going to just hop right into this tutorial. So I'm first just starting out prepping my face before foundation application. I use the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist and then the NARS Pro Prime Light Optimizing Primer. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and a beauty blender. I'm using a lot of my favorite products of 2015 in this video. So I'm using the MAC 24 hour extend eye base to prime my lids. And then I'm going to fill in my brows with my favorite NYX micro brow. For eyes, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm going in with my bronzer that I will be using later on my face. I'm using it as my transition shade. So this is what I like to do when I want to do a fairly quick makeup look, but I want to make this look really glam as well. So I'm going in with my Profusion bronzer in 3.5i and then using the Becca Champagne Pop all over my lid. To add even more highlight to my lid, I'm taking a little bit of Max Nylon eyeshadow, which is my favorite MAC eyeshadow of all time, putting that directly on the center and just patting it on so that you get a nice little dimension for the eyelid. It just gives a really nice pop of brightness to the center. And then I'm using that on my inner corners as well to make that really bright and light. And then I'm going to be putting some underneath my brow as a highlight as well. For lashes, I'm starting out with Armani Eyes to Kill, just putting a couple coats on my lashes just to build a base because we will be applying false lashes. And I get tons of questions about these lashes. These are MAC 35 lashes and normally I'm not a big fan of MAC lashes, but these are probably the only ones that I actually like. But I also don't like them at the same time because I find they can lift off the very inner corner no matter what you do. So these are what they look like, really natural and fluffy. I just love them for when I'm not wearing eyeliner and just using simple makeup looks. So now I'm using the Becca under eye corrector underneath my eye to add brightness to my under eye area. And then I will be putting some of my favorite Sephora gel serum concealer over top and blending the two together. Now I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and use it heavily underneath my eyes to bake that area so that my concealer and brightener combo doesn't move or crease. And then I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze and contour my nose. Now I'm using my new Oval 3 brush from MAC and using this to blend out my nose contour and it works phenomenal for this job. I absolutely love it. You guys were asking me my opinion on the brushes and I really do like them. I used the big one for my foundation last night for New Year's and I loved it as well. So I'm really loving those purchases. Now I'm just bronzing up my face with my favorite Morphe brush, my bronzing brush. I'll have all my brushes listed down below and I do plan on doing a updated brush 
favorites video this coming week I think next week I should have one up or the week after it should be up Then I'm taking my 137 brush from Mac and dusting away that loose powder that has been sitting there and baking my under eye and then I'm using Mac buff blush which has been one of my favorites lately I didn't realize how much I was using it but I believe I used it in my last tutorial as well so I'm just putting that on my cheeks and then using the Becca champagne pop that I used as my lid shade as my highlight Now going back to my Makeup Forever Profusion Bronzer, I'm just going to finish off my under eye and I'm using a flat definer brush from Sigma to do so. These are one of my favorite brushes ever and I'm just putting that lightly underneath my under eye just to add some color and then I'm putting the Rimmel Eye Pencil, this nude shade in my waterline to really brighten up my eyes. To complete the look, I'm using Kylie's Lip Kit in Candy K. This is my favorite of the three lip kits that she has come out with, and they are an amazing formula. Probably my, probably tied with Ofra for me. They're absolutely amazing. So once that's complete, that's going to finish off the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Happy New Year, as I said, and I'll see you guys more in 2016. Thank you.